Hello, this video is going to go over the Code It 3 through 5 Summer Camp Full Day Site. So to access the site, you're just going to go to the Teacher Checklist and click on Code It 3 through 5 Summer Camp Full Day. As you notice, when you click on the link, it's going to go ahead and open um, to Code It Full Day Camp. You can see up here at the top, just so you know that you're in the right place. So if you scroll down a little bit, you have onboarding information such as FAQs, behavior expectations, login information, and a feedback form. Your teacher and student login you will be receiving from one of the Code Emoji team members, probably Kira, um, which will have your login and all the student logins for the platforms that we use. You're also more than welcome to fill out the instructor feedback um, whenever you want to give us some feedback. If you keep scrolling, we have additional curriculum materials. So over here we have scratch lessons, additional HTML, CSS, JavaScript, curriculum materials, brain and movement break ideas, and then our bit.ly link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the scratch lesson sheet. Um, so what this is great for is if you want to change scratch lessons or supplement what you've already done, you can go to this worksheet and you can look at all the different projects that Code Emoji has either created or used, um, made videos for, and we have answer keys for. So let's say you wanted to do rainbow art because your students wanted another scratch project and the rainbow art project is not already in your curriculum. So if you wanted to see the scratch code, you would click scratch code. You could play it here and then you can click see inside for the answer key. Additionally, you can look at the lesson plan or the YouTube tutorial to figure out how to build it. Here we have some additional slides and lessons for all of our coding languages. And here we have brain and movement breaks that you're always more than welcome to use. Here we have our bit.ly link, which goes to our student resources page. So the student resources page is great if you have your students bookmark it onto their computer and then they can access all the different web pages that we're going to use during our program as well as slides that they can go back and revisit. We have a little blurb here on what to do if a student finishes early. Then you can see on day one we have our morning agenda and our afternoon agenda for our full day camp. We have our materials needed, we have our lesson plan, and we have our slides over here. So the agenda matches the slides which match the lesson plans. So these slides are made for you to put on the screen on the IFP to help guide you through your lessons with the students. And it'll also give the directions of what to do, how to log in, um, what questions that they are um, going to be thinking about, the videos that you're going to watch are already embedded into the slides. And again, that's going to match the agenda. So if you change anything, then just be aware that the slides are going to be a little bit different. And so here, I'm going to go ahead and click on the slides just so that you can kind of give a quick overview of what they look like. You can see we have our goals, what is coding, video that's embedded, the directions for draw that emoji, break out the code emoji key terms, then it's going to show them how to log into Code Emoji. And as you can see, it's very student friendly and a great tool uh, for you to use. So all the activities that we have also have lesson plans either created by Code Emoji or from Code.org or Scratch. We also have printables here. As a reminder, though, we do send you all of the worksheets, all the printed materials in the box that you're going to receive. Um, so please feel free to look at these, but you will not need to print them. Then if you keep scrolling, you have day two, you have our agenda, we have our materials, we have our slides that you're going to use for the day, and then lesson plans, and our printables. Day three, morning agenda, afternoon agenda, materials, lesson plans, and slides. And here you can see there's an Edison robot. So you can see that there is going to be um, a robot in your box when you receive it and we also have a lesson plan that goes along with that and then here so in this work in this uh, program specifically in code at full day you will be building a web page with the students and so this is a great video for you to look at before you start building with a student so that you have an idea of what are some things that you can do in HTML and CSS, um, what are some tags that you can use. So definitely I recommend looking at this video before you do that project with the students.
We also have some Edison tr troubleshooting ideas and then your printables. Day four, we have our agenda, our materials, our slides and our lesson plans, our printables, and day five, we have all of those things as well, as well as our Edison robot. So I hope this video was helpful in understanding our Code It full day program. Thank you and have a great day.